Hey, if you've got a small space to create in, well, in this video, I'm gonna introduce you to my solution for that. It's the One Stand Video Setup. And recently I did a short on it and somebody said, wow, pretty creative. So I thought I'll do a more in-depth video for you to show you how I created this One Stand Video Setup. So look, I don't know about your space, but, but my home office studio is a former bedroom, so it's only so big. But in this space is where I shoot my YouTube videos, where I edit, where I live stream from, and where I do my coaching calls with clients. Having a bunch of tripods set up and lights, it just kind of clutters it up and, and it, it just makes it harder to shoot. So I came up with this, my version of a one stand video setup. I wanted something that well, was on one stand so I could eliminate all the extra pieces and parts. I wanted something that is portable. So this is actually on wheels. I actually wanted something I could turn on and start creating. Okay, so now I'm gonna break down the stand piece by piece. And keep in mind, some of the things I have are more native to the gear. Like you'll see a couple of things that I choose to have because of the camera I'm using, which is the M6 Mark II. You may not need some of the parts, but anyway, I'm gonna show you everything that, that I'm using on this one stand video setup. First up, let's start with the stand. I think this is the core piece that all of this is just built around. Now, you could go with the light stand, the reason I didn't go with the light stand is because they can be kind of flimsy and then you need sandbags to weigh them down. So, so now I've got a, a light stand and sandbags. I wanted something like this and this is from Impact. And, and again, there's links to everything down in the description. There's other brands out there. I just went with Impact. One of the things I liked about Impact, it has wheels. So check it out. So having everything mounted on it on wheels sturdy enough to carry all this to me was a key and the wheels will fold up, the pole will collapse down so I can throw it in my truck or I could even take it on a shoot with me. So the stand with wheels that I don't have to wait, that's the key. Okay, the light. This one is from Falcon Eyes. Uh, it's an LED flexible light map. It's even waterproof, even though I don't plan on getting it wet. You can, you can dial in the temperature, the color. It also has a ton of effects I don't use. It's very lightweight, and it also comes with the diffusion panel, which is nice because you can knock it down. So now, here's a tip. If you want to keep the light out of your glasses like I use, you need to have it up and tilted down. The downside with a lot of these light boxes and panels, they'll only tilt so much. So my solution was to get this. It's from Westcott, it's called a heavy duty tilter bracket. What it does is it allows you to tilt the light even more. Just goes right on top of the, the pole or the stand, plug the light right into it and you can tilt it down. It's like 39 bucks, probably one of the coolest little things I bought. Okay, next up is the Manfrotto Friction Magic Arm. It has at the end of it this super clamp and that clamps right onto the pole to the stand and then you just extend the arm. Mine is mine is bent at about a 45 degree angle. No, that'd be like a 90 degree angle, I think. And then on top of that is a bracket the camera goes on. You really just tighten it down and it ain't going anywhere. Now attached to the magic arm is the camera I'm using for my YouTube videos. Uh, it's the Canon M6 Mark II and it's a great camera. I shoot most of my stuff now for YouTube in 4K. Uh, and to that is attached a Tokina 11 to 20 millimeter lens. Uh, it's a little wide angle, but it's not like crazy wide. It's a zoom, low f-stop, gives me some nice bokeh, blurry background, uh, and affordable, just a really cool lens. So there's one thing I don't like about the M6, and it's the LCD monitor. It's a flip up, which is okay, except my mic's in the way and you can't get the, the controls, you know, as opposed to like the the, the other ones where they flip out. That's why I use a small HD focus monitor. This is a five inch and the resolution is phenomenal. And I literally just have it coming out with an HDMI going into the monitor. And that way I can use it to see, you know, am I in focus? Am I in the frame? Is everything on? Uh, just a really cool little addition. Now the monitor is attached to a small rig clamp and, and a little bitty, little bitty multi-mount friction arm and that holds the monitor in place. Now one of the things I've added to my M6 is this small rig vlogging 
cold shoe plate and I fit it under the bottom. Now you can hang a mic off of there, but one of the reasons I do that is so then I can put this Ulanzi quick release plate, which is so cool, which allows me then to offset the camera, which then is easier to get to the battery and the card if I have to change batteries or something like that. But I would highly recommend one of these quick release plates because you leave that onto your tripod or your bracket and it's just easier to pop your camera on and off. I also have this tray, this shelf from Gatorworks, and I use it to put my iPad up there so I can look at my notes, my bullet points, but you could also use it to put a monitor up there. It's a really sturdy metal tray. It's only around 16 bucks. So the mic I'm using right now is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. This is a really great mic. It's plugged directly into the camera. So as I'm recording, I'm also recording the sound. Now I have it attached to like a, a, a small friction arm. And the reason I do that is I want to get it close to me. So like right now, you may not be able to see it, but if I zoom all the way out, the mic is right here. It's just enough out of frame, but it's closer to my mouth. And that's what the, the boom does. It gets it closer to my mouth and I don't have to have a boom pole, which is another part. Again, all of this attaches to the camera, which is on the magic arm, which is on the stand. So there you go, my one stand video setup. And again, the whole goal is to get rid of just so much clutter in my small space but also have something portable that I can be creating just like that. If you have any questions about anything I covered, anything I mentioned, why I'm doing something, leave me a comment and I'll be happy to help you out. And if this helped you in any way, consider subscribing and liking too. I'm Kevin Colby. Keep creating. I'll see you in the next video.